Welcome back everyone to another episode of Subnautica. Now I have done a few things this week. I have recharged all of my power cells. I set up that base last week or it's getting started. All power cells are recharged. I have actually upgraded a few things and made uh, the thermal reactor. So I have my prawn suit fully loaded with my upgrades. And actually you can see I've also made a bunch of things for today's trip. What we're going to do first is go down to the alien containment facility in the active lava zone. And for that, I'm taking, of course, the blue tablet. I made a second one because I believe uh, I need at least two there. I'm taking some purple tablets just in case. Uh, four ion cubes. Uh, of course, nutrient block and some water and first aid kit just in case. Because some of you have mentioned that you can swim pretty much from where you are, where we are right now, using the the sea glide and make it to the uh, power facility and still have some oxygen left so I thought it would be a fun little challenge and I'm not sure how well this is going to work I've already saved so I can reload if need be but we're going to push that little trip a bit we're going to try and make it from there just below the cove tree area to the active lava zone and into the alien containment with one uh, ultra high capacity tank full of O2 and of course RC glide. And the reason for that is I don't want to take the Cyclops back down and deal with all of the lava larva sucking away the energy now that I've gotten my power cells recharged. And while I could take the prawn suit and there is a good use for the prawn suit in this situation, it's gonna be such a slow cumbersome way to get to this area so why not let's just push it let's just see if we can do it with this so here we are entering into the main area of the inactive lava zone where we came in before now if i'm remembering right straight ahead i will see that skeleton and to the right of the skeleton is going to be the big crater that i can use to go down into the active lava zone on this side so i should be seeing the skeleton right around in this area let's turn off that scan yes there it is so this should be the edge of my crater and you see all this stuff going on i'm not hearing the sea dragon right now it's weird i'm hearing more of the other creatures and the sound of lava bursting forth from various cracks and crevices so now one thing that's going to happen here i should be entering yes there it goes a hot enough area that i'm getting this temperature like hurting damage alert type thing uh but you can see my health really isn't going down so i may not even need to use my uh medical kit now where's the big guy? There's a, there was a sea dragon. That oh, I am what you seek. Want to help you? Okay, probably not the best time to have that pop up since, fortunately, there doesn't seem to be the sea dragon here anymore. There used to be one here, and that's a good thing now. <laughs> Otherwise, that's the worst time to have that pop in front of your face where you can't see where you're going. But all right, we made it all the way down to here from all the way up there by the cove tree with one tank of oxygen. One ultra high capacity tank. Be that. And of course, the sea glide. We go the first force field down and let's go. Let's let's see this. Our, you know, nice motion sensor uh, track lighting there. We've got this. This is really the only thing I need the uh, prawn suit for so I can drill out that deposit there and get more ion cubes. But I've got plenty of ion cubes at the moment, so why not just wait for a minute? Now, the side passages, if you have not gotten to this point, they have connectors that take you to other places. Uh, those up there, oh, that's not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. Why are you up here? 
All right, so yeah, there's a uh, Research things around here. We've got to get these Let's check and make sure there's no scans right through here We've got data to download we've built it's just the middle Passages on each side. I think it's just the middle ones not all of them the other ones on each side lead up to the warp gates the star gates and uh, oh, 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 get, get off me. Hey, I saw something here to scan. I know I saw something. Oh, yeah, that's it. Run away now. Let's, there we go. Outflow pop. I knew I saw that scan icon. Okay, so scan that. Let's go to the other side and see what is on that one. This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40. Indigenous egg. Specimens in different All right, so a lot of eggs in this room, and that means we should have some stuff we can scan. Uh, oh, what data download? So we got that. See Emperor Leviathan research results. It's funny, I can't scan any of these. It's like a big museum. Oh, look at that! You can see, that kind of looks like a head on top of the egg body right there, even though it's not. Uh, oh, here's one that was not quite in place yet. Or maybe they were taking it out to do some testing when they decided in the middle of that. Hey, guys, we need to leave. Abandon all. Leave it. Don't worry. It'll be fine. So another thing to do in this room, if you want to complete as much as possible with the game, is scan all the cases. Uh, even this one that's empty. Get off of me. I like how they're not doing very much damage to me. I don't see it visually showing on my health meter there. So yeah, every one of these, and it's, uh, what is it, six on each side, or five on this side, I guess five on the other side. There's a stalker in the distance there, still swimming around. There's so many bugs still in this game. I cannot believe, honestly, that they decided to call it a 1.0 release. This is still way too buggy to be... A 1.0 release. Alright, so you have five cases on each side. And you need to scan every single one of them just to get all of the data bank stuff. If that's what you're going for, if you're wanting that kind of completion. Let's go ahead and get to the main part of the facility. Here we go. Insert the other blue tablet. And bye-bye, force field. Here we go. Getting a little glitchy there. Still not quite optimized as far as the visuals. And, all right, let's go for a swim. You know, I'm gonna go over here. Let's go the, oh, we got, oh, there she is. Other side. Hello. Are you here to play? Others came here. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. I'll play with you. I'll swim with the current. Whatever. Just don't eat me. All right. Let's see where we're going. Got glowy lots all around. Nice big area. And where is it? There should be some kind of message popping up in a moment. Here we go. Environment scans indicate the water here is there we go. with a rare plant and like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Oh, okay, maybe that's not the one I was thinking of. There's something else. Unless they changed it since earlier, this should be, there should be something being said about this being perfectly safe. Like there, none of the creatures attack you in here. I remember that being a thing that none of the carnivores will attack in this area. All right. So we've got advanced theories, hatching enzymes, 
And I'm gonna get some O2 real quick. There's brain corals all through this place, so don't think you have to swim all the way back up there to get oxygen. Uh, Big Mama seems to be getting right. Yep, she's sitting down. She's gonna kind of look at us. So, like I said, I brought several ion cubes for a reason. Because there's this one, there's some other ones too where this is necessary. And we've got this turned My on. To hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they couldn't hear me. If you help us, I will leave you freely, but the others tried in vain to take. Alright, thanks a lot for uh, cleaning that, you know. You missed a spot or two, but that's okay. I I'm not gonna make any big complaints. Let him get out of the way. Don't need him messing up my Stargate. Let's there we go. All right. So now, aquarium arc. With the passage Surprisingly, this is a separate scan. Can leave this place. But first so now they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Ah, there we go. So we've got a new blueprint. I'm gonna pop over here so I can get some oxygen. And let's take a look. New blueprint. Where? There we are. Is that really all it is? It used to be five things, I thought. Sea crown seed, eye stalk seed, and fungal sample. Now, that's something I could have been gathering. Along the way, I decided the way I didn't want to spoil anything by forgetting to cut that out of a video. Plus, it's not going to be such a big deal because what we're going to do, I'm going to show you here. This warp gate, this star gate, takes us back through. And actually, I don't think we've even done this yet in this season. So let's go ahead and go through the star gate, which does not affect the bone shark, apparently. But here we go. Come on. Come on. There we go, finally. So look, we are at the mountain again. We are right here in this little, you know, floating little spot here. And there is, that's my Cyclops Bay and all that. So we are right here by the mountain, which means I can easily get back from the mountain to down here to do things such as bring my prawn suit in and my, my arm got all weird right there. But yeah, I could come back with my prawn suit and use the jump jets and grappling hook, everything, get up top, climb up, go into the other room, and harvest away at the ion cubes. Because that little pedestal, when you harvest the big block of them, it will generate more. I'm about to take my quick little trick back to get the... Cyclops and then head back up to the surface and I think oh yeah we got something in here to scan preserved fetus that's, that's the sort of thing you want to keep you know out on display you know it, it really ties the room together just you know it's got that look that feng shui to it let's see I think that's all I, I think I got everything now so yeah, I'm going to head back to the Cyclops. I'm going to get it and head back up to the surface area, back through the Lost River, back through all of that, back up to where I can get into the uh, mountain. And now the big guy is there. Now the sea dragon is there. And I guarantee he's about to try and breathe fire at me. Guess maybe he didn't render in when I was coming through the first time. Anyway, here we go. Quick interjection here. I was right when I said I thought it had five things for the hatching enzymes. For some reason, it didn't show in the blueprints, but here it is. You can see eye stalk, crown seed, or seed crown, fungal sample, 
Ghostweed, and Bulb Bush samples. So I, I do need to get some things. Most of those are available around the mountains. I'm not sure about the Ghostweed, but the rest should be available around the mountain area in some of the places. And of course, I do believe they can be found for the most part on Reef Facts. But the Ghostweed is on my way back through the uh, Lost River. So I'm going to grab that on the way and then we'll get the rest of it once I get up top to the main surface area and go around the mountains. So, quick pro tip, if you go back to the research facility and from there follow past it, coming from like the direction you're coming from when you come from the inactive lava zone there, if you just go on or take the other side around the mountain, come up the inactive lava zone, you will uh, have a tunnel that leads you right out into the bulb zone, which is where I'm at now. I am right here, which means I am very close, right outside the mountain range. So I should be able to find, I think Sea Crown is also available out here, but I am not 100% on that. It's been a long time since I've had to deal with finding these things. All right, everyone. So it took a good bit of searching, uh, but I finally got everything I need. I actually got two of each just to make sure. So when I say you can find these around the mountain, what I mean really is you can find them in the biomes near the mountain, uh, the bulb zone, you've got the uh, kelp forest right next to the mountain area. You've got the mushroom forest. Uh, you've got several biomes in the area, so all of these are attainable either on the surface area of those biomes or in the caves. It's just going to take a bit of looking, but we are going to go ahead, make the hatching enzymes, and let's go ahead and deliver them real quick. And fortunately, I am already set to go. I parked back in the gun platform of uh, Cyclops Bay. I, I'm just going to call it the Cyclops Bay. It's for me. They knew I was coming. And this is pretty much as far as I've gotten in the game before because last time I did this, they did not have the game finished. The storyline was not complete. You could not get everything. So this is going to be now new territory for me. And there we go. We've got them getting ready to hatch. Let's get a good vantage point for this because I want you to see it. Oh, look at the little guys and gals. I'm assuming, you know, male, female, something like that. Now let's go swim around, talk to mama, say hi. Oh, they're talking to mama. Oh, like mommy, mommy, mom, 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 mom. All right, come on. My oxygen is going. I can't survive underwater like you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come here. Come here, little buddy. Come on. Come this way. Come on. Oh, yeah, just throw up. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom. All right, let's scan you real end. quick before you what get away. Be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Fair All right, that, friend. That's important to note. Now that her eggs have hatched, the babies are born, she is dying. Oh. So... I can't scan it. I can just touch it. So this is the enzyme, the thing we need to cure ourselves. So now I, I like touch it. Oh, oh no, it's it's sticky. It, it's sticky. Oh God, I got it on both my hands now. Ah, it's everywhere. It's like a glue. I can't get rid of it. And hey, guess what? Let's do a self scan real quick. Yeah, yeah. Self scan complete. I'm healthy again. I am normal. We're going to interact, have the little eyeball thingy come out and stab me in the arm again. Try to. I'm a little, little too nimble for it there. 
And come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, give us green lot. Hey, who turned out the lots? Hey, hey, I'm working here. I'm working here. Come on. And that place really shut down. So, yes, the gun platform has completely shut down. It, it's just laying there now. So that is disabled. The facility is shut down. We are good to go to get off the planet. Now we just got to actually get a method off the planet. And we know we now have the uh, code for the captain's quarters back on the Aurora, which is where we should be able to get the information for the launch platform. So I am going to get going back towards my original little base platform, everything. We're going to get over here, get everything set up. And next episode, we will be visiting the Aurora again, going into the captain's cabin, getting all, you know, everything in there, whatever it is, the blueprint especially, be able to build the launch platform and go ahead and hopefully have everything I need to build the launch platform and say goodbye to this world, say goodbye to Subnautica for this season. So unless I am having trouble getting all the supplies I need next week and unless I don't happen to have all the supplies already, next episode should be the end, the season finale for season two of Subnautica here. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the season so far, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell if you haven't done so already. Keep up with everything I'm posting during the week. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the series so far, what you like, what you don't like, if you're enjoying everything, if you're sad to see it come to an end. I would love to hear from you guys. But as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.